Good evening. Hi, Roxana, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Katia. How are you today, Roxana? Hello, teacher. Good. Good. Great. How was your day? Today um, went uh, on the on the on the oh, to the dentist. Ah, dentist. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. How was it? Was it all right? Yes. Okay. Painful, <laughs> doloroso, right? Yes. Painful. <laughs> That's pretty I, bad. I I think. Think. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it either. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's so so awful to have to go to the dentist, but anyway. <laughs> and apart from that, was it all fine? Todo lo demás bien, Roxana. Yes. Okay. Nice. In the platform? Yes. Siempre, siempre trabajando section five. You're still in section five, okay. Yes, but but um, finish, we finish in the weekend. On the weekend, all right. Yes. Sounds nice. How are you today, Katia? Hi, bye, teacher. Great. How was your day? It was busy. Busy as usual, right? <laughs> okay, but was it fine? Yes. Good, okay. All right, perfect. And how about the platform? I didn't study. Okay, you haven't been little... working on it. Okay. It's weekend, I will. You will try. do it. Okay. All right. Yes. Remember to do your best to complete at least until section four, because okay. next week, next week we'll be working on section five. And remember that everything has to be done by next Wednesday. Okay. So just keep okay. working. Okay. Marta Elizabeth. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Thank you. Great. I'm good. Thank you. How was your day? Uh, it was busy. You had a busy one? What did you do? Uh, I'm psychologist, the profession. Oh, okay. But I'm I work I'm working in the call center. Oh, you work in a call center. All right. So it's hard, I guess. Yes. Yes, it's kind of stressful to work in call centers, right? <laughs> exactly. In all those calls. <laughs> okay. But was your day good at the end? Yes, yes. Okay, that's nice. And the platform, Marta? Tell me about it. I, I complete the section five. I begin the exam, final oh, okay. exam. Okay, you're just starting the final exam. Sounds good. Continue, okay. continue working, okay? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Reina Acosta, good evening. No, good Acosta. evening, teacher. How are you, Reina? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Great. Great. Uh, how was your day? Uh, it was busy. Oh, all right. What did you do today? Um, I when I class class online for students. Okay, you have some online classes. All right, that's nice. Do you teach in the morning or in the afternoon? 
and in the morning and uh, in the afternoon. Oh, both. All right. But you got a lot to do. Okay. Very busy day, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. In the platform, Reina? Session five, uh, five point five. All right. Sounds good. Keep keep working, sir. Okay, let's see, Madeline, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great, how was your day? It was fine. It was just fine. What did you do today? Yeah. I work. Just work, all right, that's fine. And how about the platform? Um, I finished the section four. You're done with section four. Nice. Okay. Just remember to keep working and remember everybody that we have to be done with section five and including the final exam by next Wednesday. So we got um, yeah a little less than a week to complete the platform, right? So please keep working and remember that in order to pass, we have to to achieve at least the 80% of the progress in the platform. So please continue working on that. Now let's start with today's class. We got a lot to do, so let's start right away. And well, let's start by reviewing what we studied yesterday, which was the possessive adjectives and the object pronouns. Then let me remind you that for the possessive adjectives, we got my, your, his, here, it's our in there, right? Those are the possessives. And then we have the object pronouns. The object pronouns go like me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. And yesterday we worked on some exercises to practice them. The first one was about the possessive adjectives, using the possessive adjectives to complete the sentences. And I believe we checked it, right? It was just, my father is driving his new car. Hello, what's your name? I have a sister, her name is Mary. The cow oh. ate its food quickly. They like sports. Their favorite sport is rugby. Is this Paul's cat? Yes, it's his cat. I have a pet, its name is Babu. We bought our fruit yesterday. You are a boy and your name is Mark. And I live in Paris with my family. Then the next one was for using the object pronouns. Let's check this one. We got number one. You are very kind. I love. What do we say there? I love. What is the correct Love. object pronoun? Love you. You, right? I love you very much. You are very kind. I love you very much. Number two, the children will come soon. Would you wait for? Them. 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 And number three, we are going for a walk. Come with? Us. With us. Number four, this is James. Do you know him? Him. him. Mm -hmm. Number five, how much is that, is that dress? I like it. 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 Number six, you and Theo are tall, but Theo is taller than? You. Than no. you, right? Number seven, where is my mom? I want to talk to? Her. 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 To her. Number eight, we can solve this. Can you help? Us. Help us. Help us. Number nine, I can't do that. Can you help? Me. Me. And the last one, this is my house. Do you like? 
cool it. It. Okay, and let's see. If we got, for example, here we use you because it refers to you. this you, right? Here we use them, it refers to? They. Who are they? It refers to the children, right? The children. Nope. That is why we choose them. In the next one, we use us because it refers to this we. we. And this one, him, refers to? J James. To James. James. This it refers to? Dress. Uh, yes, that dress. dress. And here we use you as a reference for the you that we have before. Then we have hair. Whose hair? Or who does it refer to? My mom. To my mom, right. And we have us. That one refers to? Me. Yep. This one, me. I. I. Yes. And here we have it. That it my refers house. to? Mm -hmm. To the house, to my house. Okay, so that is how we relate the object pronouns to the corresponding references, right? Then let's continue by working on a conversation. This is a kind of listening exercise. What we're going to do is to listen to a conversation and answer some questions. We got, where are Dave and Susan going to go? When is the match? What time? Does the match start? Are they going to have dinner together? And what time are they going to meet? I want you to listen to the conversation and get the answers to the questions. Let me send the questions to the chat so you have them. Let me see, I'm going to send the questions to the chat. So you all have them and you can listen and answer. And there you go. Did you get the questions? Did you get the questions? Are you ready to listen? Yeah. Ready? Oh, okay, so let's listen. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this. Can you listen to that? Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. Now let's listen and get the answers to the questions then. This conversation, how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. <coughs> an invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, let me play it one more time. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to 
and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. Did we get the answers, or do we need to listen again? <laughs> what do you say? Listen again. that but I don't look in my computer. Oh, no, it's only the audio. Only, only um, yes, it's only the audio. Uh -huh. And the questions are on the chat. Las preguntas las envié acá en el chat. Okay, let's listen one more time and then we check. Okay. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, were you able to answer all the questions? Okay. Yes? Did you get the answers? We tried. We tried. You tried. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. We're going to check together and we're going to get them then. Okay, so we got question number one. Where are Dave and Susan going to go? They are going to go to the Yes, to the soccer match. Oh. Mm -hmm. match. Yep. Number two was when is the match? When is it? It's on Friday, Friday, Friday night. Yes, it's on Friday, Friday night. night. Friday night. Friday night. Next one, what time does the match start? Eight, eight o'clock. It starts at eight o'clock. Next, are they going to have dinner together? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. I and the last one, what time are they going to meet? At seven. Seven, seven, half, half, seven. seven and a half or seven thirty. Okay. Yep, very well. You got all the answers. Now let's continue by practicing the conversation. Here you have it. And um, let me get some volunteers to read it, please. Any volunteers? Hi, teacher. Roberto Sarceño and me, me, teacher. Reina Acosta. Okay, Roberto, you start. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. 
that sound great. Uh, so do you want to have dinner at six? Mm, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's go to meet at uh, the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let me indicate. That's so fine. See you there. Very well, thank you. Now everybody repeat, just. 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 Okay, and let's continue with having another pair to read. Do I have any other volunteers? Me, teacher. Katia and? Roxana. Okay, go ahead, Katia, you start. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Oh, I like to, but I have to go late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at 10 before the match around 7 30. Okay, let's meet at the game. That's some fun. See you there. Very well, Roxana and Katia, thank you. And let me have a third prayer. Who wants to read? Any other volunteers? Me, teacher. Mm, sorry, who was that? Me, teacher. No sé si me escucha. Uh, yes, sorry, I couldn't identify your name. Can you say your name, please? Lourdes. Lourdes, thank you. Okay, so that will be Lourdes. And who else? Okay. Anybody else? They. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Let's see who's reading with Lourdes. I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to go? Do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let just to meet at the stadium before to the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Very well, Sandra. And, uh, oh, I forgot your name, Lourdes. Thank you. Okay, and now let's notice how we use the, the structure wood for uh, for invitations, right? We say, would you like to go? Would you like to go? And then in order to answer, you say, thanks, I'd love to. So in that case, Susan is accepting the invitation, right? Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. And here we have a second invitation, which is, where is it? Um, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I have to work late. In that case, Dave is not accepting, he's refusing the invitation. So let's check out on how to use wood for invitations. Let me go to the platform and we're going to watch the video so we get the explanation behind wood. And by the end of this lesson, you will comprehend the use of wood in questions and answers. Let's watch the video and then we're going to explain it. And also we're doing some practice.
By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes. I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb comma but plus examples I would love to go to her new house but I can't I would like to go to her new house but I can't Okay, so as you see, we use would in order to invite somebody to do something, right? And we got some examples here. We say, would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go out on Friday? Some ways to answer, yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to, thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Then we have another one, which is, would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. And we also have the contraction for I would, which is I'd. I'd. Now let's practice. Okay. Repeat, please. Would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like, would you like to, to go, go on, on, on Friday? Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, yes I'd love, love to. Thanks. I'd love to. I'd. I'd love. I love, I'd to. love to. Thank. Yes, I'd really like to go. Yes, yes I'd, I'd really like, like to, go. to go. Once again, I'd. I'd really like to I'd. go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. I like, I like it, I like it to but I to want to visit my parents. my parents. I'd. I. I. I would. I would. I would. I would. I would. I would. Okay, so in this case, we do not uh, we do not pronounce the L, so it sounds something like would. 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 I would. Would. I would. I would. I would. I would. I would. And I, I would. would you like to? Would you like to? Would. Would you like to? I would. Would you like to? 
Yes, that's how you pronounce it. Wood. 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 Okay, now let's talk a little bit well. uh, more about wood. What do we use it for? We use it for invitations and offers. For example, when we say, would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to come for a meal? Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? Or would you like some soup? Would you like Wait. some soup? So you can see that in the first two, we are making invitations. In this, in the other two, we are making offers, right? And then the structure, as we heard before, is would, then the subject, then the like, the verb like, then we use the infinitive, the verb in the infinitive with the to. It's very important to also include the to, as you see here, to go, to come. And then a compliment. Uh, let's practice the, the questions. Repeat, please. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like, like to go to, go to a soccer, soccer match? match? Would you like to come for a meal? Would, Would you like, like to come for a meal? For a meal? Would you like a drink? Would, Would you like, like drink? drink? Would you like some soup? Would you like some soup? Let's talk about some expressions uh, to accept invitations. So whenever we are going to accept an invitation, we can say, thank you, I would love to. Thank you, I would love to. Repeat, please. Thank you, I would love to. I would, I would love to. I would love to. Love to. Thank you. I would love to. Thank you. I would, I would love, love to. to. I'd like to. I'd like, I'd like to. to. That sounds lovely. That sounds, sounds lovely. That sounds lovely. That sounds lovely. 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 Mm -hmm. So it would be something like, yeah, let me try to represent it. Lovely, lovely. But it is like two lovely. syllables, let's say. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Lovely. Okay. Then the next one is, uh, what a great idea. We say, what a great idea. Repeat what a great idea. idea. Thanks for your invitation. I'd be delighted to. Thank, Thank you for you your invitation. I'd be delighted. Thanks for your invitation. Thank you for your invitation. I'd be delighted to. I'd be delighted to. I'd be delighted to. Delighted to. I'd be delighted to. It sounds great. Sounds great. That'd be wonderful. That would be wonderful. Okay, so those are some ways to accept invitations. For example, if you are asked, would you come to have coffee with me? I'd like to. That sounds lovely. Uh, would you go out or would you like to go out with me? Thanks for your invitation. I'd be delighted to. Uh, be would you delighted. like to drink some tea with me? Sounds great. I mean, that you can use any of those in yeah. case you are accepting invitations. Then in the opposite case, when we are refusing invitations, we do not accept them. We may say, I would like to, but I. So, okay. um, we add the, the explanation or the excuse over here, right? I would like to go, but I I'm have welcome. to work. I would like to join you, but I am, what to say? I have a party on Saturday, for instance. So you just add the explanation over here or the excuse. 
Then we have another one, which is I'd love to, but I. It's similar to I would like to, right? I'd love to, but I. Um, for example, when you were asked, would you like to go to the party with me? I'd love to, but to I, run. yes, I cannot. I have to work. But I, I have something to do or what else? Well, I but I, I need to the rest. I need to rest. Um, all right, that's a good excuse. Then we have, thank you for asking me, but, thank you for asking me, but I cannot join you this time. Or thank you for asking me, but I'll be busy on Friday, for instance. Then we have, I don't think I can. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. And that's pretty much it. Now let's practice them. I would like to, but I? I would like it to. I but would like I, it to, but I. I would like to, I would like to, but I. I would like to. I would I like, would like to, to, but I. I I'd love to, but I. I love to, I would I love like to, but, but I. I. Thank you for asking me, but. Thank, thank you for asking me, but. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I can. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. I can make it. I don't think I can make it. I don't, I don't think I can make it. Okay, very well. Now it's time to practice. Let me go to the next presentation. And I'm showing you what we're going to do in today's practice. As usual, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you work together with some classmates. And first, we're going to make some invitations. For example, would you like to join me for coffee? Would you like to join me for coffee? And then you may answer by saying, yes, I would. Eh, I'd like to, I'd love to, or you can refuse. For example, I'd love to, but I, and I mean, you just accept or refuse the invitations. Then we got a second exercise, which is to review and practice the verb be. We got, we got um, some information that we're going to use in order to make sentences. We say, for example, in the first one, I am Michael. Then we make it negative. I am not Michael. And you make the question, are you Michael or am I Michael? And that is what you have to do. You use the verb be, am, is, or are. Then in the third exercise, you have to use the simple present. There you have to unscramble the sentences and then make them negative and interrogative. We got number one, what is it? What's the sentence? We drink tea every day. We drink tea every day, make it negative. We are in. Mm, use don't or doesn't. Well, uh, we don't. We don't, we don't drink don't. tea every day. Mm -hmm. Tea Don't day. drink tea every day. And now the question. Do we drink Do we? tea every day? Do we drink tea every day? Very well. That is what you have to do. Just remember, in this one, we use the verb be, am, um, is, or are. And in this one, we use do and does. Simple present, do and does. Okay, let me send you to the breakout rooms. So you get some time to work on the exercises. And I'm sending the practice to the WhatsApp group as we always do. There you go.
importante la primera. That is the first teacher. Yes, that is the first exercise. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, you have to you have to make invitations using wood. Like would well, you like to join me for coffee? Would you like to would you join me for coffee? Yes, you can say both. Would you like to join me for coffee or would you join me for coffee? But like. normally when we are making an invitation, we use would you like, right? Would you like, like. Eh, te gustaría, right? Normalmente la utilizamos en esa forma. Sin embargo, sí se puede hacer eh, de forma directa, como Would you join me for coffee? ¿Me acompañarías a un café? Or Would you like to join me for coffee? ¿Te gustaría acompañarme a un café? So you can use both ways. Right? Would you okay. like to join me for coffee? <laughs> Good. Would you like to? Would you like to join yes. me for coffee? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. oh, would, would you like to get a lunch with me? Would you like to have lunch with me? You have Great. lunch with me? Mm -hmm. In the answer too. Yes, you can practice the answers as well. I would like. I would like. Yes, you can say I'd like to. I like to or I'd like. I would yep. like to, but. Mm -hmm. Yes, in case you I don't accept, like. you say I'd like to, but I. And then I you like give an explanation. Okay. Uh, would you like to come to the cinema tonight? I love, I love, I will like. Okay. And the next one. Seria, do you come to the barbecue at the tennis club? The anterior. I would you like go to the watch the paradise. paradise. Great. Parade. We say parade. Parade is the desfile. Okay. Mm -hmm. This the next evening, would you like to come to the barbecue at the tennis club? Very well. Would you... I, I love... Would you like to read a magazine? That's the next is uh, would you like to play to soccer with me? I, I would like. I will hope. Si quiero, teacher, si quiero decir que no me gustaría, I, I wouldn't like to. If I, I, I wouldn't like to. I'm yep. sorry, I, will, I don't like soccer. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't like, teacher. I don't like. 
yes, to... it's a I wouldn't like I wouldn't like Good. because I don't like soccer. I wouldn't. Yes. I wouldn't. I would like. Uh -huh. Yes, I mean, but that would soccer. be kind of rude. Esa forma de responder sería un poquito, um, how to say, descortés. Like, uh, it would be better if you say, mm. like, I'd like to, but I don't like soccer. Como me gustaría ir, pero no me gusta el fútbol, pero. right? So that would be a, mm, more no kind. Más polite. Exactly. I wouldn't like. Um, it is correct, but it is I kind know. of rude. Sí, es correcto, pero es un poquito, um, un poquito fuerte, como un poco directo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. No problem. Yes. Okay. okay. The next exercise. That's. Um, affirmative and negative sentence and question. Number one. I am Michael. I am. I am. Oh, I'm not Michael. In question, am I Michael? Mm -hmm. Am I Michael? Uh, am, am I? Am I, I Michael? Am I Michael? Am I Michael? Number two, Madeline Elisa is not here. Today. Oh, Marta. Are you? Oh. Are you my brother? But affirmative okay. and negative. First, affirmative. Sí. No me siento que me había desconectado el internet. Okay. ¿Pueden repetir lo que estaban diciendo, por favor? La número dos, estamos preguntando, ¿qué es afirmativa, negativa y encuesta? Ah. Arlen. You are my brother. You are my brother. Are you my brother? In the question, are you my brother? You are my, my brother? In the, in the question. Mm -hmm. La número tres es mm. he he is an uh, engineer. Uh -huh. He is an engineer. So he is an engineer. La respuesta es yes I do o no hay dos Mm, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Ah, or no, I don't. Perdón. Okay. La segunda. Frank's studies geology. Frank's yes. studies biology. Yes, Frank's. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. In the negative, France doesn't study biology. Very good. Yes, we pronounce it biology. Bio biology. Biology. Okay. Yes, biology. biology. La tercera. Sí. Sí. This bird has beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. This bear yes. has beautiful colors. Uh, 
Ayan, ayan natin. Ver Dasen. Si Kiva Das, el verbo sería has, sería have. Have. Remember that the infinitive is have and the third person is has. Uh -huh. Como so, das, uh -huh. have. We use have. That's uh -huh. correct. ¿Qué número? Four. Many chops. Close at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Many shops close at seven o'clock. Negative. Many, many chops. So don't. Many chops don't close at seven o'clock. That's right. Many shops doesn't. Many shops don't. Don't. Because it's plural. Ah, don't. Mm -hmm. many, many. <laughs> I am a painter. 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 Yes. Painter. Uh -huh. I am a painter. Yes. I am not a painter. Uh -huh. Yes. Am I a painter? Yes. Uh -huh. He's not my son. He's my son. He, he is my son. He isn't my son or he is not my son. Uh -huh. He is. <laughs> he is, he is, is he my son? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Uh, thank you. They are my nephew. 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 Nephews. 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 They are my nephews. Yes. And mm -hmm. do you understand the meaning of that? Uh, Mama, please. Sobrino, yes, yes, you're right. Uh -huh.
they are in my nephews 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 yeah. are they my nephews uh -huh. are they my nephews nephews you got it ¿Lo cambio? Sí. Yes. Ay, ¿Qué pasó? Ya no. Sí, doctor. Hola. Se ve. Ah, uh, no. No, sí. Ahora sí. Simple. A ver. Oración. Una oración. Sí. Es el presente. Y. Join. Do we. Do we drink? every day but first unscramble the sentence just put it in the right order right we drink tea every day then mm -hmm. make it negative and then you make the question when are drink we when are drink we think Every day. Green tea oh, every day. Every day. Every day. Friends studies biology. That is biology. Friends biology. Studies biology. Okay. Biology. Now make it negative. Uh, and not studies biology. Does not. Ah, does not. Does not. Fran. Uh -huh. Does not. Students. Study. Biology. 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 Good, you get it. Biology. This bird has this beautiful color. This color. This color has no, no, no. no. This bird. This is color beer has beautiful. This bird this has color beer. This bird has. This bird has beautiful colors. You got it. Okay, so we're coming back to the main room because it's time to leave. So we're going to stop over here. See you there. Thank you. All right, uh, welcome back. We are going to leave the check the, the check for the next uh, next week. We're going to check the exercises on Monday. So, um, well, we can leave now. Uh, thanks everybody for participating. And remember to continue working on the platform, please. Remember, you have to be at least on section four and starting section five. 
if you have time to work on the weekend and you can finish everything, just do it, please. And also remember that we are already uh, taking the, the registration for next level. So please, if you have not done it, do it as soon as possible. And that will be it. Have a, have a nice weekend, everybody, and have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Thank you. everybody. Bye.